Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Now I will presenting to you my individual assignment for subject Principle of Child Behavior Management ECE 3013. My name is Nur Shafika Nadia Binti Mohd Marzuki with number ID AM 21010086660. So now let's get started. For the movie selection, I decide to choose this movie, Kembara ke Pulau Harta Karun from Upin Ipin. This movie follows the storyline of a group of children who were on a treasure hunt. This is an interesting movie with a great deal of genuine value and lessons. The movie contains 11 parts and has a very interesting story plot. Now let me introduce you to this movie. This movie was published on May 16, 2009 by a local production named Les Copa. This movie involves four directors to produce this imaginative movie. This movie is about the imaginary of nine children of five years old. And this movie contains 11 parts with interesting plot and the duration of this movie is around 1 hour 30 minutes something. And here is the character in this movie. In Kumbaru ke Pulau Hata Karun, we have Upin Ipin as Hang Upin and Han Ipin. Jarjit as Pirate Chief. Meme, the only one girl in this movie as Putri Meme. Fizi as son and Mael as, uh, as a pirate uh, crew. Ija and Zo as a fisherman. The significance of this movie first is each character has their own unique and personality such as Ipin with the tagline Betul 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 Mael with the tagline Dua Singgit due to his calculating nature because his mother is a seller Meme with the tagline Saya Mau Saya Mau while Jarjit is tagline eh, Jarjit is character is known for his ability to say word and who is good at verse and riddles. Ijat, on the other hand, is a stuttering child and less apparent in class. His son is a boy child and Fizi is a close friend of his son and Fizi loves to uh, tease him his son in class. Second, multiracial concepts such as Malay, Chinese and Indian. Like from the movie, even though Meme is a Chinese, they still want to save her. Why Jaji is a saint, Upin and Ipin and their friends stay together to form a group to continue mission regardless of race and skin color. And the last one is high level of imagination. Upin Ipin kembali ke Pulau Harta Karun has a high level of imagination. This process of imagination involves thoughts and things from what we hear and from what we see. The summary from the movie is a pair of twins named Hang Upin and Hang Ipin went to rescue Princess Mei Mei from a pirate named Jaji. The pirate snatched the treasure map and left Hang Ipin, Hang Upin and Putri Mei Mei in the middle of the sea. Then they were rescued by fishing boats named the Ijat and Zul. They chased and retrieved the pirate ship and recaptured the map. All of a sudden, there is an eagle destroying the ship and finally, they are stranded on a beach and decided to work together to find the treasure. Various obstacles they go through to get out the treasure. They must catch the treasure from the queen once they arrive at the treasure spot. They use a variety of methods and techniques to get the treasure. Jarjit succeeds in snatching the treasure from the queen, but their ship is ambushed and destroyed on the way back. They get stuck on the beach once more, and the queen manages to reclaim the treasure. The next day, there will be an eclipse, and the treasure will be fulfilled the demand. When the queen began to make a request, Zo interrupted her, causing the queen to get angry and wish to punish Zo. However, Hang Upin and Hang Ipin will manage to use the Queen's magic wand to remove all of the villagers' curses. Finally, Mael and an eagle came to save them all from the volcano. The end. 
From my observation, Jajit has two different characters according to situation. Uh, from positive side, Jajit agrees to work together to snatch a treasure with his friends. Jajit cooperates well throughout the treasure hunt mission. From my negative side for Jajit, Jajit is a greedy and selfish person where he runs away with treasure after they together manage to snatch it from the queen. Uh, it is closely related to Eric Erickson's psychosocial theory in stage 3 which is initiative versus guilt. At this point in psychosocial development, children begin to assert their power and control over the world through directing play and other social interactions. As conclusion, behavior is defined as a person's behavior, gestures or behavior. Behavior is an act that involves the process of interaction, moving, reaction and so on. According to Louise M. Baker, behavior is what you do, the way you interact or act, and act in response to environment. Positive and negative behavior are the two types of behavior that exist. A person's behavior is sufficient to describe their feelings and mentality, but it is normal for children this age to go through this initiative versus good phase. They will explore this phase and will learn from each effect of their behavior. Every action has its own effect.